Okay, time to get serious. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get your dyed light hair to a darker hair. If you want to learn how to do this, please keep watching. So before I go into dyeing my hair, there's a lot of things that you need to know to like do this at home. First of all, you need to buy your box dyes, go into the store kind of with an idea of what color you want and knowing that you have to add the layers progressively back into your hair so if your hair is super light 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 blonde um and you're trying to get it to black i probably have to buy three to four boxes of colors depending on the length of your hair if not you're just probably gonna have to buy a lot i in july i had previously dyed my hair really 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 blonde like obviously my hair is dark and to get to the blonde i had to go through a long process i dyed my hair three different shades of brown before i finally decided to put the bleach and let it just be blonde then at that point you have to put toners you have to put and treat it you have to wash it with purple shampoos you have to like try to keep it blonde that is the whole point of why I'm not trying to stay blonde anymore because it is hard work to keep your hair a nice shade of blonde. Whether it's you have highlights, whether it's you have ombre, whether you have balayage ombre. Having blonde hair when your hair is naturally dark is hard because it will start turning orange or it might turn green or you never know. Like There's a bunch of things that can happen with your hair because it's not blonde. Um, so to get to blonde since you removed all the color from your hair it's not as easy to go back dark as you thought um i used to think like oh my hair is light now i can just put a black on top of it and my hair is going to stay black well that is not the case let me tell you right now um i had put a brown on top of my super light hair and the result is still blonde like i was my hair was probably brown for like a day and then i washed it and i was in the sun and it turned super light again like look at my roots growing out whatever it turned super light again so i looked up the process and obviously since you took out all the color now you have to add the color back on my hair was super super blonde and now it's still pretty light but it's like coppery orange that is the second color you would have to add on if your hair was blonde. You're going to have to go to orange, then to a red, then to a brown, then to a black. You can like have blonde hair and add a red right on top of it for a base and then put the brown, but you're going to come out with like auburn hair. Since my hair is orange, I am going to add this red color. It's R57 Intense Medium Auburn from L'Oreal. Paris Feria brand and I'm just gonna leave that on for a few days but my final result I want it to be this one it's still like a red base hair color um it's called deep burgundy brown shade 36 and it's just because it's fall and I want like a reddish tone hair if you want to watch how I dye my hair and see the whole full process of me going from this color to a darker color please keep watching so the first step that you're gonna take in getting ready to dye your hair is you're gonna get Vaseline or any type of petroleum jelly and you're gonna apply it on areas of your face that can get fallout during the dyeing process since you are dyeing your hair a very dark visible color, it's important to do this because it will stain your skin. The Vaseline is used as a layer between your skin and the dye and it makes it much easier to wipe it off in the end without having any marks. So you're just going to start applying it on your forehead and then down your temples, in front of your ear on your ear and the whole area behind your neck i also apply it on my wrist and some areas of my hand because since we are using our hands to apply the dye it 
usually does get on your hands and those are areas that we usually forget about and then the next day we're looking at our hands and it's like oh my hands are not the color that they're supposed to be at this point you're just going to get your box dyed take out all the products and start mixing it in the order that the instructions tell you to do you get a very bright red color that i was clearly excited about make sure that you put your gloves on here i brushed my hair out to make sure that there wasn't any knots so i can be able to separate it into sections equally i clip it up with a mini clip and start applying the dye from the root to the tip of my hair since my hair is blonde it's easy to see where i'm missing dye and you'll see me reapplying dye even though it seems like my hair is covered once i get closer to the top of my hair i start creating more sections and just half because then that way i'll make sure that the top of my hair is equally as lathered in dye as the bottom i'm gonna fast forward all of this as i am now and i'll also clip pieces because this is very repetitive and we don't want a 30 minute video So here you wait 25 minutes, you wash out your hair, and you are done. So after that long process, this is the color that I got. But remember, I'm only using this as a base color for this color. This is the final color that I got after that whole long process of dyeing and waiting and dyeing again. I didn't spend the hundreds of dollars at a salon. And I have the reassurance of knowing that my hair will not fade away the whole purpose of the red in between the blonde and this color is so that this color can't fade into a blonde by following the steps in this video you can also take your hair from blonde back to dark in your own home without having to worry that it's gonna fade or anything of that sort i hope you guys learned something i hope you enjoyed this video please thumbs up subscribe until next time Bye.